Hey guys, it's Whitney, and I'm sure you've noticed something a little different. No, my world does not just get flipped around. I'm actually trying out a new app. I, uh, my previous vlogs have been shot using Photo Booth, which um, does this weird thing with the videos where it flips it around, which comes in handy if you're trying to use it as a mirror, but it makes things a little confusing if you actually know me. First, I wanted to say a very special shout out to my sister, happy birthday. And of course now I've realized having said that, that by the time she sees this, probably won't actually be her birthday because Japan time differences. But anyways, happy birthday. <laughs> also a very special, wonderful shout out to everyone who subscribed and shared my videos and and to everyone who had such wonderful things to say about my video about anxiety when I shoot these things I do it because I have things that I feel need to be said and that one especially it was kind of to see if maybe sharing it would lift some of the weight off me which it did it, it did help and um, hearing that I wasn't alone and that uh, so many of you understood what I was talking about made me feel really good because uh, sometimes when you put these things out there it's for you and you think that nobody else will understand or identify and that you're basically just wasting their time and the fact that I didn't that really kind of that meant a lot. Well today's video is also a little different. <laughs> Over on my blog um, I have a whole section of posts called The Wired Mom which are specifically my views on tech as well as uh, technology as it relates to parenting. And, well, I'm a tech junkie. I don't go anywhere without my phone. So, I'm going to share with you a few things. First, we've all had the problem where our phone gets wet. And I'm sharing this because this week, for those of you who follow me, um, you already heard about the little kidlet spilling water on my phone and I was asking for happy thoughts because Quora, my beautiful phone, Quora is my life. So here's what you do. This is what I always do. When you get a phone, take a container, fill it with rice. It does not matter what kind of rice. So you can use the cheap stuff. It just needs to be dried rice. And then all you do, uh, take out the battery and all you do from here is you stick it in the rice. The reason you want to make sure that the container is kind of deep is you just want to make sure it gets fully submerged. Now my tip is that as soon as you get a nice new shiny phone, make sure you have a Tupperware container filled with rice that's ready to go um, just because it'll save you a lot of time. Now if you happen to have a phone that falls into water somewhere where you don't have a tub of rice ready, um, the first thing you want to do is just make sure you take the battery out. Because the problem is that if your phone connects to this battery, what it will do is it will try to pull the charge from it and wet and electricity, not very good, you're just gonna burn out your phone. So the most important thing if your phone does get wet, even if you don't have the rice, is to take the battery out. Don't just let it dry on its own, take the battery out so that it cannot turn on. And then let it sit in the rice for as long as you can, resist the, resist the temptation to touch it. If you plug it in too soon, then poof, it'll same thing will happen. So just let it sit in there and leave it for as long as you can. Okay, guys. So here are two gadgets that are going to help make, well, your life as a geeky parent or as a convention goer a lot easier. Two things. First is uh, this guy. This is the Hyperjuice Macro made by Hypershop. Uh, it has a slightly bigger brother, the Hyperjuice Mini. This one is mostly made for charging iPhones and iPods. Uh, the bigger brother carries more juice so you can charge something like an iPad. Um, I find these to be really great because it is a portable battery. Really, all you have to do is the night before you're going somewhere, just plug it in and it'll charge up and then you have a battery with you so that when your phone dies, all you have to do is plug it in. Let me just show you how simple this is. I'm gonna plug in my power cord to my computer. As long as you have a USB cord that you can plug into something like a USB to wall adapter, you'll be able to charge this. And that's fantastic. Oops, there we go. So now that I've got that plugged in, you can see that the indicator light is blinking red, which means that this was totally out of juice. <clears throat> Likewise, charging something is really simple. All you have to do 
is run the USB into your device and it'll blink the other way. So when it's fully charged, it'll blink green and it goes down to blue and then I think either orange or yellow and then red. That'll tell you when it's almost out of juice. I'm sure you're thinking, Whitney, should I really carry around this cord? All you're going to do is have to, as you're yanking it out of your bag, you're just gonna pop the casing off so you have to put electrical tape or brand. Yeah, that's what happened. No, nope, I'm here to change your life with this guy. I'm never gonna get used to being on this side. It's called the charge card. Um, this was a Kickstarter that I backed and I love this. It is a phone charger. They, it comes in three different flavors. They make it for iPod 4 and iPod 5 as well. And the way that this works is here's the micro USB that I plug into my phone. There's a flexible USB connector in the middle so that I can always twist it and turn it the way that I need to so that it can charge. Plug it in and that's it. It's thin, it's light, um, it's durable, and I gotta say, I'm, I've had this, I've had this for about a week and a half now and I use it all the time. I mean, I, the, the idea is you keep it in your purse, but I, I wind up taking this everywhere with me now because obviously I use my phone a lot between talking to family and, you know, messing around on email while I'm waiting or giving my phone to the kids so that they can play games while we're waiting for somewhere. I use it all the time. So those between those two things, they have you set and covered for just about anything. But here are some other tips for you when it comes to going to conventions. Um, convention floors are notorious for not getting great signals. So if you happen to be somewhere where you recognize it's a dead zone, turn off your data connection. Set it up on plane mode, I don't care. Because the problem is, is if your phone's gonna keep trying to connect for a network that isn't there, you're gonna run out of battery really, really fast. Um, you're, you are gonna be able to find outlets just about everywhere. The reason I suggest bringing along the battery is just because sometimes it's hard to find one that's unattended. You can't always guarantee you'll find it and you can't guarantee that you'll be able to find one when you need it, so bring it along. And then Disneyland, man, you can never find an outlet at Disneyland to charge and now they have charging stations. But with this, you can just take it along and charge as you're going along and keep it in your bag and you don't have to worry about it and it's great. Well, if you guys have any tech tips for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments, send me a message, ask, you know the drill. If you have any more ideas, go ahead and send them along and I hope it was a little informative and helpful, but here you go. And I hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. Or maybe sooner if I've got something else to say. Bye.